how to organize your wardrobe easily. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel this week. This is my Swirl World. And we're going to be talking about something very important again on our style talk this week. And that is how to organize your wardrobe easily. Wardrobe administration is very important. If you are a stylish woman, you need to know how to organize your wardrobe. It starts, everything starts from your closet. You know when you organize your wardrobe very well, it will be easy for you to get dressed. If you arrange your clothing, for instance, according to color, once you have known the color palette you want to use for your dressing for a day, then it is easier for you to know where which section of the wardrobe you are going to directly to get whatever you want. So it's very essential that you know how to organize your wardrobe easily. A well organized wardrobe makes things easier to find and it makes it easier for you to get dressed. Though I understand that, you know, the way you organize your wardrobe depends on your personality, it depends on your, on your lifestyle. And at the same time, it depends on, you know, the size of the wardrobe you have. But the following tips I'm going to just share will guide you in a way on how to organize your wardrobe easily, no matter your lifestyle or no matter the size of the wardrobe you have. And the number one thing I'm going to mention is that when you want to organize your wardrobe, the first step you need to do is to declutter. You declutter all your clothes, your shoes and bags, and all other items according to categories. This is very important. There's no how you can organize or reorganize without decluttering. So you have to declutter your wardrobe. You can remove the things you want and the ones you don't um, need. You, you separate them. Once you do this, then it's easier for you now to start with your arrangement. During your decluttering process, you can separate the ones you don't need anymore. Either you're going to dispose them off, or you're going to donate them for welfare, or you're going to sell them to the thrift store for people to reuse. So decluttering will help you organize and help you pick those things you need and separate the ones you do not need so that you know how much space and you have and you know how to arrange the things you actually um, need in your closet. The number two step is to ensure that you empty the whole wardrobe and clean it. Dust everywhere and make sure that everything is very clean. Then you can now go ahead and put an hair freshener there. So put a very nice hair freshener in your wardrobe to have a very refreshing smell. The number three step I want you to take when you are reorganizing your wardrobe is to arrange your clothes according to their categories. I have mentioned in my one of my videos in the past that I have different categories of clothes. So when you want to organize your wardrobe now, you organize all these things according to their categories. Maybe the trouser pants, they will have their sections. Your tops, they will have their sections. The tank tops, they will have their sections. The jackets. They will have their, you know, section by section like that so that when you want to get dressed, easily you can go to where you, you put a category, you pick anything you want to pick from there and you are good to go. So arrange all your clothing and everything according to categories. It makes it easy for you to access them. The number four tip I want to share with you is that you should hang all your fancy and delicate wares. All the fancy clothes you have and the delicate ones that you don't want them to wrinkle, you don't want them to spoil, you hang them. That is why we, the need of anger is inevitable in wardrobe uh, administration. All those items or the clothing, you don't want them to spoil, put them on the hanger. You arrange them very well on the hanger. And additional tip I want to add on this issue of anger is that you should use a coordinating hanger. Any hanger you want to use, let them be the same. Maybe it's white hanger, let them be the same color white. If it is going to be cream color, let them all be, you know, the same type of cream colors. This will let your wardrobe be more beautiful. It will add color and taste to your wardrobe. Number five tip I want to share is that hang your scarves on the hanger. You can create a space for them depending on how much space you have in your wardrobe. Create a space for them or maybe on the hanger there you can use hanger. There's a way you can use your hanger to put everything in order and hang it. Our scarves, they are very messy. If you don't know how to, to keep them as much as they are very useful and very beautiful, uh, accessories but keeping them sometimes can be challenging so you have to hang everything so that your wardrobe can be very neat and organized littering your scarves around can be very annoying it can be very very annoying so don't litter your scarves hang them very well 
The number six tip is that you should use your drawer. When we are constructing our wardrobe, it is very essential that at least every wardrobe should have the drawer section where you can keep your underwears, e.g. your pants, your bra for women, your tights, your socks. We keep this kind of thing, we fold them very well and arrange them very well in the drawer. When you arrange them very well, they, they, they are very beautiful and it's easy for you to get your things when you want to get Dress. You know, searching through socks and underwear can be very tiring and annoying when you are looking for a particular thing, ransacking everywhere. But if you are arranging them very well, section by section, you fold them very well according to how you should do them professionally. When you want to get dressed, you know, you can easily go to a particular place when you know what you are looking for and just pick it. It is very easy. Or maybe you want to wear your socks, pop stockings and all that. You will see one leg there, you see another leg in that place. But if you had arranged them very well, you know, there won't be any need for you to stress yourself to access your stuff. Number seven tip is that you should hang your accessories, e.g. your bed, your hat, your jewellery. Hang all these things on a rack, on any empty space, probably on the wall or at the back of the door of your room, depending on how you want to design your house or a section in your wardrobe. And you have to be very, very creative with this. So that you won't make a mess and your arrangement won't be funny so get a very um nice space for your accessories your hats your jewelries for women these days we have jewelry drawers but there are some that we still want to hang them because we don't want them to be folded we want them to be in very nice condition so that they won't spoil get a space to hang all these kind of things create a rack for them and arrange them on the rack be creative with it you will like the results you get so these are the few tips or guidelines i wish to share with you today on your wardrobe administration for now you can arrange your wardrobe easily so make use of them and they will help you to have a very stylish um, closet so that's how far we're going to go this week thank you for taking your time to watch my videos like this video and click the subscribe button and the notification bell as well click that so that each time i'm uploading new videos you will be notified you can check my social media handles below so that you can just follow me on instagram on twitter and all the rest so thank you for taking your time until next week we are going to see you again to discuss another style talk thank you bye bye